All right, Mr. Music here again, going on to number three in the Chapter 7 Test Review. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Trisha had four and one-eighth yards of fabric to make curtains. Okay, that's important. That's how much she started with. When she finished, she had two and three-eighths yards of fabric left. She said she used two and two-eighths yards of fabric for the curtains. Do you agree? And then explain. So there's a couple different ways we could do this problem. Uh, one way we could do it is by subtracting. So we take the amount that she started with, subtract the amount that she said she used, and then see if that equals how much she, had, she actually had left. Uh, another way to do this problem is using addition. We can add the amount that she had left plus the amount she said she used, and that should equal the amount she started with. Okay, so I'm actually going to use the addition strategy because, in my opinion, for this problem, it is uh, an easier strategy to use. So I'm going to take the 2 and 3 eighths that she had left plus the two and two eighths that she said she used, she, that's what she thinks, she thinks that's how much she used. And I'm gonna add it together and see if we get back to that original number. So two plus two is four, and my denominators are the same here, so that's eight. Three plus two is five. So four and five eighths, I look back up here, and she actually started out with four and one eighth. So, do I agree? No. I disagree. Oops. Disagree. And again, I, I apologize for my handwriting. I disagree because the amount. left plus the amount she said she used doesn't up to what she started with. Now, if you did this problem on your own first and then just uh, checked it on the video to see if you got it right and maybe your answer is a little different, that potentially is still perfectly fine. And remember, there's more than one way to solve a problem. So maybe you started out with the 4 and 1 eighth number and you use the subtraction method instead, right? 4 and 1 eighth, and then you subtracted how much she said she used, 2 and 2 eighths, or you could do it the other way as well where you subtract the amount of fabric she has left and compare it to how much she said she used. So there's many different ways you can do it. Um, and then, but you should all have no, you definitely do not agree with her. Um, and then your reasoning could change depending on if you did the subtraction method or the addition method, your reasoning on why you disagree could be a little different than mine. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for number three. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next video.